Breaking news this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm McLeod Hageman. One person is recovering and several others were pushed from their apartment unit. The secret to surviving is simply staying calm. Beef is probably, you know, casing a car and trying to check out to see which vehicle is the best one to take. They're going to see something like this and probably move out of the thing. Recovering a submerged vehicle. This might be your local news, but we're going to take you back in time in this iconic DeLorean. Early morning standoff situation in this Menasha neighborhood is over. It takes first responders about five to ten minutes to put on all of this gear. This family night is finally coming to a close. And this is live TV, no pressure, right? Between, uh, excuse me here, live TV and we love to see it. One of our lights just tried to gust over and as you can see, gusty winds this morning as you are heading out. Not sure what to recycle or toss in the trash. I'm NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman sharing what you can throw away and what you can dig out of the trash for some cash. Can you believe that we are doing this for work? Oh. We are live right now inside of an air tax. If you haven't stepped outside and you need to brush off your car, this is what you can expect to deal with this morning. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of that thick, wet snow. Let's go ahead and just brush a little bit off here. No problem whatsoever. Green Bay police say there have been about 265 car thefts this year so far. Now, if you do the math, we're 316 days into the year. That comes out to roughly 51 days where a car hasn't been stolen in the city of Green Bay. Fortunately, Green Bay police and automakers are teaming up. Just a few seconds, you open the app, hit the scan option, and then you point it at the barcode on different products like this Mountain Dew bottle, and that's when you start earning points. Looking up to snow cover conditions across much of Northeast Wisconsin this morning. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman, live in De Pere where it's going into the first weekend of spring. Learning how to sharpen my winter weather driving skills. More than $3 million. That's how much you donated to make this year's Give Big Green Bay bigger and better than ever before. <laughs> A troubling social media trend is changing the way police look at car thefts in your neighborhood. I'm NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman, connecting with neighbors affected by this nationwide problem. You own an older model Kia or Hyundai. Maybe you know somebody who does own one. Thefts of those particular vehicles. Wild videos on social media of people speeding off in stolen Kias and Hyundais. Researchers say on the list of most stolen makes, two have become frequent targets. The city of Milwaukee is preparing to file a lawsuit against car makers Kia and Hyundai. They were all shards of glass all over the parking lot by my car. Months after Sandy Blasky's Kia Forte was broken into on Green Bay's west side, she's still waiting to get it fixed. They did enough damage that I couldn't, couldn't use it. Lasky, the likely victim of a social media trend where teenagers break into Kias or Hyundais in an attempt to steal them to go joyriding, is one of the 240 people who have had their cars broken into or stolen in Green Bay this year. Police say 160 of them drive a Kia or Hyundai. It got into Green Bay in January of this year. We started to see a significant increase. So commonly what happens is they just bypass that system since the security on the Kias isn't very high tech, if you will. Auto Select Manager Jeremy Plager demonstrating the damage thieves often cause and just how easy it is to start and steal one of these cars. This is the quarter glass in the vehicle. Uh, it's kind of the easiest way to get entry. Okay. Um, then you can unlock one of the doors and get in. Aside from this manufacturing flaw, Plager says another issue from automakers seems to be keeping people like Blasky from getting back on the road. A deeper dive in just a moment, but first, Green Bay Police offering some insight to keep your vehicle safe and hopefully out of the repair shop. So if a thief is probably, you know, casing a car and trying to check out to see which vehicle is the best one to take, they're going to see something like this and probably move out of the thing. Right, and one of the things to think about when you're purchasing a steering column lock is to get something that's visible. Patrol Captain Clint Bagoon initially encouraged Kia and Hyundai owners to park in a garage if they could. But both car companies told owners to park outside after issuing a recall on nearly 3 million vehicles due to a fire risk. Mechanics like Plager say that's just another problem these owners are facing. For a while, there was a problem getting these parts, uh, and we were using used columns to get our clients back up and running. Initially, it was evenings, uh, Friday, Saturday nights, things like that. Now we're seeing it a lot more spread out and sporadic. Patrol Captain Bagoon says extra patrols have helped and reports 88 people have been charged, cited, or arrested in connection to auto theft this year. Nearly half of them teenagers, some as young as 12 years old. 
As for Kia and Hyundai owners like Sandy Blasky, I made a big boo-boo. <laughs> she's encouraging owners to make sure their insurance is fully covered to offset the cost if something like this happens to them. Don't do what I did. Get your full coverage because it's not worth it. Now, some insurance providers are making it harder for Hyundai and Kia owners to insure their vehicles, but here in the region, that's not necessarily the case. I've reached out to a number of providers across Green Bay, and they say they're still offering policies to a lot of those Hyundai and Kia owners. As for protecting your vehicle, authorities recommend parking in well-lit areas. They also say you should find a spot that's recorded by surveillance or ring doorbell cameras. Reporting from Green Bay, McLeod Hageman, NBC 26 News. Yeah, Lauren, thanks. A quick traffic update for you this morning following that semi rollover crash on Highway 41 near the Shearing exit in De Pere. Now that semi rollover has been cleared and traffic is back to normal. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman just outside of De Pere, keeping an eye on some of those road conditions. Now we can go ahead and take a look at some of that video that I shot earlier today. We did drive past that traffic crash earlier on Highway 41 South near the Shearing exit where that semi rolled over. That was a little bit before five o'clock this morning, bringing traffic down to just one lane, keeping traffic backed up there for about an hour and a half. Now we have been checking with Wisconsin State Police. They say that there aren't any major crashes across the area this morning as people are waking up to a lot of those snow covered and slick conditions across Northeast Wisconsin. So if you are going to be heading out for today, I would say the big concern right now isn't necessarily going to be the snow. It's probably going to be the windier conditions. So if you're going to be sending those kids to school this morning, it might be wise to make sure that they have on an extra layer as it is going to be windy later on today. Again, if you're just joining us this morning, that traffic near Highway 41 in De Pere on the Shearing exit has been cleared this morning. So traffic is moving along right here along Highway 41 at this point between, uh, excuse me here, Live TV and we love to see it. One of our lights just tried to gust over. And as you can see, gusty winds this morning as you are heading out for the day.